neurofeedback therapy helpful for those with sensory integration disorder? Sensory Integration Disorder, or SID, was discovered by Jean Ayers, Ph.D., about 14, 40 years ago. Symptoms of SID in children are often misinterpreted as psychological problems or just plain bad behavior. Higher cognitive functions, including things such as learning and behavior, depend upon having a normal sensory integration. As a psychologist, I'm sad to say that when I was in graduate school from 1982 to 1987, that this disorder wasn't talked about that much. At this time, I am often involved with families who have a child with sensory integration disorder. Imagine, if you will, that for each of your five senses, that there's a wire of a different color that leads the information from that particular sense into your brain. For example, for the information that comes in from your eyes or your visual senses, you might imagine a red wire and a blue one for hearing, etc. Now, assuming that your brain was able to notice what color of wire the information was coming from and knew that the red wire was information from your eyes and blue was from your ears, it would be a fairly straightforward process for keeping things figured out. Someone with SID, however, doesn't experience it quite like this. When someone is dealing with SID, their brain is getting mixed signals. At times, the red wire might be visual information. At other times, it might be the blue wire that is shutting, shuttling the visual data. Then there may be times when the red wire is carrying both visual and auditory information. Can you see how this might be very confusing for the brain to interpret? This sounds like a rather complex challenge, does it not? One could argue that it is, I suppose, but I've never been one for building a case for difficulty. Instead, I prefer to gather evidence for possibility. In short, when neurofeedback is helpful for those with SID, it's as though neurofeedback is able to teach the brain to start recognizing the wires accurately and stop acting colorblind when it comes to incoming sensory information. And why shouldn't everyone's brain learn to clearly interpret sensory information? Would you like to know more about the amazing world of neurofeedback? Just go to www.neurofeedbackbook.com. My name is Dr. Claire Albright. I'm a psychologist and the author of a 168-page book called Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback. And I can be reached at 949-454-0996. Go to neurofeedbackbook.com where you can download the PDF ebook version of my book for only $7.99.